Hello my friends, I am Mr. 23 and this month it's all about Halloween. Today I'm going to teach you how to create a scary face on a pumpkin and also this will be the idea for my third edition of my do it better Photoshop contest. I have made this design so you can have an example of what you can achieve after you learn this tutorial and then you can create your own custom face to your pumpkins. Finding really good and scary Halloween images is hard so I was really happy a few days ago when I saw that Neostock released a new Halloween pack with some really interesting assets and some of them I have used in this design so if you are curious about it just follow the link in my description. So today's uh, tutorial is just about training it's about how to add a face to this pumpkin and to make it uh, look more real and to add some lightning inside that face. So I have used this stock image that is not really high quality but it's free it's from DeviantArt from Gina Rostock and you can use it in your designs and and also for this month contest you can use any pumpkin that you want this is just as I said for training so you can learn how to add the face to this pumpkin one of the easiest ways to select the pumpkin is to press W and here select object selection tool and if you select the pumpkin just like that it will add a selection and then if you press the mask it will mask really really quickly the pumpkin of course at this zoom level you won't see the details if you zoom more you'll see that uh, the margins are not really that nice because of that really fast selection i'm going to use the pen tool to select the pumpkin and to make it look much much better okay so this is our pumpkin i just used the pen tool to select the pumpkin and now let's move on by adding a small shadow underneath the pumpkin because now it looks like it's sitting in the air so underneath this layer i'm going to add an exposure and darken everything and then press ctrl and i on the mask press the letter b for the brush tool right click on the screen and we are going to create an oval shape by dragging the top point to the bottom and then with the white color be sure that the white color is set here we are going to paint underneath this pumpkin and this will be our shadow for the moment and now let's take care of our pumpkins colors first we are going to do the same thing with an exposure so create this exposure adjustment layer and now clip it inside this pumpkin so any modification that you are doing it will affect only the pumpkin so we are going to decrease the exposure and increase the gamma correction then we are going to repeat the process create another exposure clip it inside but this time we are going to increase the exposure and then we are going to do the same thing another exposure clip it inside and we are going to decrease the exposure and increase again the gamma correction and double click on this layer and drag the left slider to the right and then hold alt drag the left one to the left okay then hit ok and press Ctrl and I to invert the mask. Now take again the brush tool but the flow should be around 3% and now if we are painting with the white color you'll see that we are going to add some small shadows where the pumpkin already had that uh, shadows to add some depth to our uh, pumpkin. Then another layer this time brightness and contrast clip it inside we need some contrast to the, this pumpkin so increase the contrast right and decrease a bit the brightness because when i work i'm really organized so let's group everything into one group so everything that we have so far besides the background let's select it by holding shift and select all the layers and press on the group icon and then we are going to name this one pumpkin then we are going to create another group and let's call this group face and inside this uh, group new group we are going to add a new layer and now we need to add a face to this pumpkin. Of course you can do it with the pen tool, it's uh, more precise. So if you take the pen tool and uh, draw something like an eye or a mouth just in a few seconds, uh, it will draw something like that. And of course the mouth, as you can see, is really, really fast uh, and it's it looks okay. Let's say okay, if you press Ctrl and Enter and then if you take the solid color, yeah, it will look something like that, really fast, really cute, but the lines are too straight, I really don't like it. Let's try another method. So create a new layer and now this time we are taking the lasso tool and we are going to draw the face and the eyes with the lasso tool. The lasso tool is really important in this case because it will generate like a natural hand movement. Because I'm a right-handed, <laughs> I'm starting from the left to the right. It doesn't really matter the order but uh, let's say that we are going to start from this part with selecting something like an eye then when you made your first shape hold shift 
you'll see that little plus icon near the lasso tool and we are going to continue to create the other parts. So yeah, this is <laughs> my design. It looks like scary. <laughs> I'm laughing because my kids are running around the house and I cannot concentrate on the drawing and they have their own playground right now. And uh, let's go back to our design. When you decide that you are finished, again, take the solid color and you created this shape. Of course, you can modify anything. In my case, I will because I'm not really happy <laughs> with with some parts of uh, the mouth for example so on the mask of this layer we can modify some things so for example if we want to select this part and to uh, delete it uh, you select it and then if you press delete you'll see it will add uh, that part to the selection so you can do the opposite for example if you want to add here something like a cut and you hold alt it will cut that part if you look from the distance, it looks like a bat. <laughs> it's not uh, like Batman logo, but yeah, it looks really weird. But anyway, it looks uh, unique. <laughs> Let's move on to the next phase of our tutorial. So now we need something like a volume inside uh, this shape because now it looks like a sticker just applied to the mask. So we are going to do the same thing, create a new layer and clip it inside by holding Alt and click between the layers. And now with the same lasso tool, we are going to make another selection to the bottom part of our black selection. So we are going to start from this part. You need to draw a shape that will be inside this black selection. So I'm taking the lasso tool and I'm trying to copy what I'm seeing underneath, but it doesn't have to be perfect, which is uh, really, really normal. So after you are finishing with this part, you can draw like uh, another random shape that will gonna be outside this black selection. So what's important is this one which is inside the black selection, now the us outside one. And you can do the same thing here to the other one. Don't forget to press shift to add to the selection. So now for the mouse, the same thing, hold shift and try to imitate what you are seeing underneath. So after you have finished with the selection, press again the solid color adjustment layer and you have made this <laughs> funny shape. Now select the mask and hold Ctrl and click on the other mask. Press Ctrl, Shift and I and press delete. And it deleted everything that's outside the white color and kept only what we had inside. So this is a separate layer now. Let's change the colors now. The black we are going to change it to an orange and the white we are going to change into a brownish color. Then inside this orange we are going to add an exposure and clip it inside by holding Alt and click between the layers. Then increase the exposure and then invert the mask by pressing Ctrl and I. Using the white color now and if we are painting with the white color you'll see that I'm adding some other colors inside our popkin which is that yellow color that comes from the exposure and the same with the eyes. Alright our popkin looks much much better now. Let's do the same thing with the brown color also. So go to the brown color and add another adjustment layer which is exposure. And the same increase the exposure. Then press Ctrl and I to invert the mask and if we are painting now with the white color not everywhere but on some parts you'll see that we'll make those parts brighter which will be much better and more realistic. So now let's add something inside the popkin eyes and mouth to imitate some fire. So double click on the layer with the orange color and here on the pattern we are going to select this pattern which is under water. You have trees, you have grass and we have this water and we are going to select the green one. Then I'm going to change the blending mode to color burn and opacity 100%. And if you modify this scale, you'll see that it will add something inside that looks like fire. It's not really fire, but from the distance, it doesn't really matter. And now we need some white uh, highlights or rim lights inside this shape that we have done. So I'm creating a new layer, go layer, new layer, and I'm changing the mode to linear dodge and fill it with black. Then I'm taking the brush tool and select like um, like this color for example this uh, yellow color and I'm increasing the lights inside that yellow color to something more close to the white color something like that and then you can paint with this color and be sure that you have the second color as black so first color is this yellowish white color and the second one is black so we need to change a lot a lot between those colors 
let's take the brush tool and set the flow to around uh, 10% something like that and let's paint on the sides with this uh, color I'm using the mouse right now I have a tablet but uh, to make this more close to you if you don't have a tablet I'm going to use the mouse for this step Alright, so I'm drawing with the mouse like a line and then I'm pressing the letter X to change between the colors you see here and with the black color I'm going to erase, actually hide some parts of uh, this white uh, yellow shape that I have done because I don't want to have the same intensity everywhere and uh, yeah, I need some small uh, rim lights, highlights over there because uh, it looks more natural like that. This step uh, takes some time and of course you can change this color to something more dark if you want and yeah you can play around as much as you want. This was before and this is with our face. You can add magic, you can add uh, other things that you want but for the moment it looks really nice like that. And then if you want more contrast let's add a uh, brightness and contrast and if we increase the contrast it will look much much better. <laughs> And now the rules for my do it better photoshop contest. You must create a pumpkin face, it can be funny, sad, happy, scary or whatever you want. You can use any pumpkin that you want and you can build anything around this pumpkin, just let your imagination take control. The new rule for this contest is to create a before picture also, so all the images used are shown there. This is an example. I am asking this because I saw that uh, some people took some already made wallpapers or full designs from internet and just paste them into their designs which is not really nice. You cannot evolve like that and the purpose of my contest is to improve your level by trying all those different ideas. I was really busy in creating Halloween's designs and I could not join Benny's challenge this time but you will understand why in just a few days when you'll see my next Halloween tutorial which it will be something really really cool. Don't forget that I have a lot of tutorials on my channel and also a photo manipulation guide that can help you a lot. It has 5 episodes. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel please consider to subscribe it now because you will be notified anytime that I'll post a new video and also if you want to support me and my channel just click that join button that you have underneath my videos. So thank you so much, cannot wait to see your designs and see you next time.